word. Next thing we're going to hear is he's got someone pregnant. And listen, I guarantee it ain't going to be one. It's going to be several. Yep. Because he is a child's mind. And I did say that because that's my husband and I know him. Y'all know him from this and the show. Y'all don't, y'all don't know him. I do. He has a child's mind that ain't grown up yet. That's why he gets on there one night and vents and cries. The next night he's drinking liquor and he's, no, I got two phones now. Like, one adult says that. I got two phones. Like, we really care you got two phones? One interview you said you didn't have that. You did, I did, I did, you didn't have a phone when you landed here, but then you sat there and then the ET interview, what did he say, Jen? Oh, she kept checking my phone at the house when I got to U.S. So which is it? You said that you didn't have a phone and then you said you that I kept checking your phone. If these people, you, these, his followers, are, I don't want none of them because they're not very bright. They don't catch on to how he can't, he can't keep the story straight because it's called L-I-E. When you can't keep the story straight. When you're a good liar, you're going to remember your lies. No, no. A good liar ain't going to remember nothing. Because no. a chronic liar does not, they believe what that comes out their mouth to be truth. Right. Lie, people that lie can't remember their lies because they tell too many. And then you have and everybody to knows he lies and they just sit there and plot him. That's, that's yeah. where we're at. To me, my opinion, we're, mark my word. True, true, uh, to be fair though, a good liar is somebody who no longer lives in reality. It's somebody that's so used to lying that they don't even know what the truth is anymore. Those are good liars because they don't, people that lie and don't even know that they're lying anymore. Yeah, those are dangerous people. That's a freaking great liar. Yeah. But nonetheless though, let's talk about it. So she's saying that she thinks and believes that uh, Michael's going to go out there and get multiple women pregnant. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I mean, listen, to be fair, I'm not going to sit and say that she's wrong because it is a potential chance because sadly for Nigerian men, they are notoriously known for going around in different countries and getting multiple women pregnant and also not claiming any of the, their children for the most part unless, un, until they get to the final boss, the final woman that they actually decide to be with. And then there'll be a parent to that child with that woman because they decide to marry that woman and actually be with that woman. But for the most part, they do go around pretty much, you know, Planted the seeds here, there, and everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's quite sad. Quite horrible. But either way, though, who is Angela Dean to come out and say these things? Who are you? You're saying as if, like, you've experienced him do this to you. And also, on top of that, to also mock his, um, his, 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 his intelligence, you know, to say that he's not, like, the brightest person in the room or, you know, he's not, like, all day in the head. Or well, she can say that, but here's the thing, here's the thing, though. So, Angela Dean, you are now admitting that you got scammed by somebody that is not bright. So what does that make you, Angela Dean? That's what I want to know. You know, that's what I want to know. <laughs> because the grand scheme of it is this. If what she said is true, I wouldn't be admitting that I got scammed, I got outsmarted by somebody that lacks brain cells. You know what I'm saying? And also, to be fair, just to touch on the whole lying thing, I mean, listen, there's a chance that maybe he did lie. There's a chance maybe he didn't lie. But here's the thing, though. We know that sometimes when it comes to what happens on the show, the timeline of each scene isn't necessarily necessarily accurate because they do chop things up. And I wouldn't be surprised if they, if they put one scene here that happened today, but then they put another scene that happened yesterday after the scene of what happened. No, 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 before the scene of what happened today or after. It, it, you know, the, the way they can model things up, basically. I wouldn't be surprised, personally. And that's not me defending him. I'm just saying that at the end of the day, uh, the whole thing about him lying with the phones, listen, she could be truthful about it, but at the same time, there could be other logistics behind it, if you do what I'm saying. But nonetheless, though, the matter of the fact is this. Angela Dean has come out to admit that she was outsmired by somebody that has no brain cells. That is what I'm taking this the most, you know what I mean? But hey, I hope Michael doesn't go around America sleeping with women and getting pregnant after pregnant after pregnant because that would be sad knowing that he may not even be able to step up and knowing that well now right now he definitely is not financially available to even look after the child you know what i'm saying so well at least i don't think he's anyway but hey you guys let me know your thoughts let me know your opinions and we can talk about it don't forget to like subscribe and of course peace